Hey y'all, so today, as you saw from the thumbnail, we are doing a home tour, an empty home tour. So Henri and I bought our first house together. It's a condo right outside of the DC area or it's in the DC area. Um, and so I wanted to show you what it looks like in this raw, pure, natural state before we have cleaners and painters and everybody come in to kind of change it from top to bottom. We got this place knowing that it needed some work Nothing structural, just kind of like some TLC. And we were all good with that because of the price and also because of the location and also because we have three bedrooms, which is almost unheard of in this area. So let me show you around. Sorry for the areas that are going to be a little dark in here. Um, it is because none of the uh, ceilings have lights except for the dining room. So something that we're going to have to fix very, very soon. But coming in from the front door, this is your view. And uh, along this wall is going to be the couch. This wall will be repainted. It will be the television. Now, the best part for me in this area is the balcony. So the balcony really spans the entire um, width of the living room, just to give you the, the view from this way. But from this way, this is the best part for me. It's raining today, as you can see, but we have an amazing view of our community garden. Lots of green space in our gazebo. At night, it's really pretty because all of this is just lit up with a view of the different buildings that surround us. Our unit also gets a lot of really nice natural light. So let me just stand here so you can see kind of the size of the balcony. It's a pretty good size. I mean, if you wanted to, you could get like a full size couch out here. So we'll probably just hang up some lights just to really kind of have a nice warm glow in the evenings, put some chairs, a table out here. It's gonna be a vibe. This area is the breakfast nook, but we are going to actually use it for Ombre's um, studio space along this wall. It's gonna either be shelving or a mural. We're still trying to decide. Um, it is a pretty decent amount of space if I just stand here in the corner. And there's a sliding door here that she can close if she wants some privacy. And we may do a barnyard door up here to close it. But that is her studio space. So the dining room is probably one of the rooms I'm so excited about because I've never had a dining room before. So just the transformation in here is about to be epic. I'm really, really happy with the kitchen. It's probably the only room in the house that we don't feel like needs any work. We may eventually paint in here. The walls are like a bluish gray, but you know, it is what it is. We got stainless steel appliances. The black back splash is really nice as well as the countertop. So I think we're actually good in here. Let me just stand back. Again, it is a mess so that you can see it's kind of like a, a galley kitchen. <clears throat> it's not huge, but it's just two people, uh, Ray and I, and we have ample space on the cap, on the, what is this called? Countertop over here, which is good. Also gifted myself the large dip tea candle. Moving on. This is the guest bathroom. I won't show you that it's too much of a mess. This is, the guest bedroom. All right, you all. I love these floor to ceiling windows. In this bedroom, you get a good view of the garden. It's a pretty good size in here. We're probably gonna end up putting a queen size bed in here. And you get to walk in closet number one. All of these rooms have a lot, lot of closet space. So we'll probably use this primarily for like storing suitcases and things like that. So that's bedroom number one. This is our washer and dryer. This is our 
uh, another like empty closet. Just more storage space. And this is gonna be my favorite room of the house. Ignore the bright yellow walls, but it is going to be my custom closet. So along this entire wall is going to be built-ins where they're gonna be floor to ceiling shelving for hanging clothes, bags, shoes, etc. cetera. Um, I think this is gonna be a sufficient amount of space. If not, it may also come around to this wall. But what I think would probably look better is if I saved this wall for like my vanity space where I put on makeup and things like that. So, and also I need a desk. So just trying to think about what's best for this room. Um, another closet, which is a really good size in here. And we have all of these kind of like builder grade glass or what are they called? Not glass, mirror sliding doors. Now we are entering the master bedroom, <laughs> air mattress, but we are actually excited because we cannot wait to put a king size bed in here because we're pretty sure it's gonna fit. This room has so much closet space. So it has, when you walk in, a hanging closet. Then here, and this is where we've been putting all of our things with no hangers. <laughs> is the walk-in closet. All right, we got painters here this morning. Let me just stand here so you can kind of see the size of the bedroom. And I'll show you the bathroom in just a minute because I wanna do a few close-ups. But this is the master bedroom. So we've had to think a lot about what we want our first projects to be. Um, you know, when you move into a new home, it can all be overwhelming, especially when you move into an older unit like ours, because you feel like you have to do everything at once. And everybody that loves us is telling us, girl, don't do it. Slow yourself down and do it piece by piece. And so, because I'm the queen of planning, <laughs> I made one big spreadsheet that had all the things that we wanted to do in the place. And I also included like a line item as far as the price and also like the projected date for when we wanted to have the work done by. So that's been helping us to kind of keep things organized and in order versus just like bye, 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 bye. Um, I think that for us, what the biggest priority right now is, is getting the common area areas together um, obviously we have to get our furniture which is coming soon but like we really need to decide what we're going to do to the living room how the furniture is going to be laid out we want to get on Ray's studio space together like my room that'll come together in the future I'm not too much worried about that I can find other places to film around the house until then as far as like outfit inspiration or you know capsule wardrobe presentations but she needs a place to, to create now. And so we got to prioritize that. Um, <clears throat> the biggest project is for sure the master bathroom. I don't know what they were thinking. I don't get the hotel style set up. I know it's old. I don't know what y'all was doing in the 70s. But all I can say is carpet in the bathroom is disgusting. And we have just got to find a way to live with it for now because we do want a really nice like spa style bathroom renovation that's just always been one of my dreams and so we need to save to make that happen because we just don't want to cut corners and so in the meantime we're probably just going to like replace the mirror and um you know get new lighting put a rug down paint paint the cabinets, just small things that are gonna kind of give it an elevated feel until we can put the money probably sometime the first quarter of 2021 into like a real bathroom overhaul. Other than that, um, we're just really, really happy to be here. We were in a hotel for about three weeks. So honestly, anything that kind of gets us out of the freaking hotel, we are sleeping on an air mattress as you saw. I don't even care. I just needed to be with my family in a space that was home, honestly, and we did it. Sometimes it just doesn't feel 
like it doesn't feel real i'm just i'm very 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 proud of um, so we will be talking about all of the different spaces in the home. I thought about, you know, what I want to do, like a big master reveal or what I want to take it space by space. And I think uh, uh, like we did a house tour before and just the length of time it takes to film and to edit and to know that when a video gets to like 20 some minutes, y'all don't watch it anyway, <laughs> makes me know that it's probably best to split this up. So video one is, as you can see, the empty house tour, and then we're gonna go room by room. I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing the next room um, that we're going to make over is going to be the dining room as far as what will be completed first. And I'm excited to bring you all along. So in the meantime, make sure you are following me on social media, politics and fashion. Also at the Joy Lounge for some self-care inspiration um, to just have a daily dose of happiness you know what I mean like we need it we really 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 do need it thanks for watching and I will see y'all across the interwebs